Hey guys, and thank you for clicking on this video. Today I have a new video for you guys. It is about my hair. Curly and natural and out. It's all out. Okay, I'm, I'm playing around. Most of this is my hair, but some of it is not. Can you tell? I'm doing a clip-in hair review for you guys. I purchased a few curly clip-ins from AliExpress. This is my second time buying hair off AliExpress. This is a different store. I actually bought it from Honey Queen Official Store. I was basically looking for something that matches my hair texture, um, but also isn't, you know, $300. So this hair is pretty cheap. It ranges from... 57 to 86 US, which is 76 to 114 Canadian, just around there. I bought this hair in 16 inches so that it is literally like the same length as my hair. It came in a DHL package, literally just in the regular DHL envelope. And it just came in a regular plastic bag. And honestly, when I opened it and I took it out, I was like, wow, I paid almost $100 for a little, little round cylinder of hair. Like it looked so thin when I took it out the package. So once you play around with it, it starts to get a bit thicker. But I just, I saw this and I saw these little straggly curls and I was like, oh my gosh, this is about to be nothing. I'm gonna need two bundles, but it actually turned out pretty good. So when you do get your bundle, you're gonna get a clip in that has four clips in it two that has three clips and then four that has two clips the four two clip ones they're a little bit different so for this one the clips are um we'll say three fingers apart and for this one it's about five fingers apart maybe six this is the first two clip one and then this is the other two clip one. like i said when i first took this out of the package i thought that it was not going to be enough hair but turns out that I only use the four clip, the two three clips, and one of the long two clips. I have the short two clip ones left and one long two clip one left. <sighs> it's actually a decent amount of hair. I honestly, even when I was taking out the hair, I couldn't tell where was my hair and where wasn't my hair. You can see it blends like flawlessly. Before I get into the things that I like and don't like about the hair, let me tell you guys what I did to basically get this look. First, I washed the hair. I didn't shampoo it, I just used a conditioner. And I put the conditioner on the hair and then rinsed the conditioner out. I let it dry for a little bit. And then while it was drying, I started to prep my hair. So my hair was fresh out of a Bantu knot out. To install them, I didn't want to put the product onto the clip-in. So what I did was I sectioned my hair and I took the one section in the back. And that section, I would spray with water and put my um, moisturizer in. And then once I was done that, I installed the clip-in. So right now I have two, three clip clip-ins in my head, then the four clip, and then the two clip is right at the top of my hair. The last clip-in is right here. And I just kept doing that all the way up until I had all of them installed. Um, even before I did this next step, it blended into my hair completely. I could have just went like that, but I did want to get a bit of a stretched look. So I decided to do just a bunch of twists in my head. I woke up the next day and I kind of liked how the twists look. I decided I was gonna go rock the twisted look for one day. This hair was drying for about a day and a half and I got this kind of wavy, coily look. One tip I do have when you are unraveling the twist, if you do decide to do that, is to only fluff the clipping. If you fluff your hair, this is going to happen. And when I say fluff, I mean separate. If you separate your hair too much, you're gonna get this kind of frizzy, whereas you can get this kind of look. Is there anything else to say? I mentioned the length clip, how many I put in, how I did it, how I got it looking like this. Things that I like about this hair, number one, which I have mentioned already, it looks like my hair. If you are somebody that has 3C, 4A type hair, this is gonna match. And even if it doesn't match as soon as you install it, 
if you do like a twist out, a braid out, even perm rods or flexi rods, it will match your hair. I could have put more clips to get a bit of a fuller look at the front, but I was going for a very natural look. Another thing I like about this hair is that it holds the curl, like I mentioned. Third thing I like about this hair is that you don't have to use a whole bundle in your head. Well, you won't need a second bundle, you might need the entire one bundle, but you won't need a second bundle if you are leaving all of your hair out. Thing that could be a con for you is the amount of hair that you get. If you are planning on cornrowing the back of your head like you would if you were putting on a wig and then just leaving the front out, this bundle is not going to be enough hair for you because it by itself is very thin. So if you were to just kind of put it all in the back, you might need a bundle and a half. And it's not like you can get a half, you just have to buy a completely another bundle. Ooh, I made my calories! 2,500 calories! This Fitbit watch is really cool. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you want me to do a review on it. What was I talking about? So this is just my initial review. I don't really have any cons technically for this hair. But again, I've only been wearing this for about two days. This twist out is two days old. This is the second day. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. I just pineapple my hair in the nighttime and then wake up, take it out, shake it and go. This hair does not shed at all. I will insert a clip of how much hair shed when I washed it. It was like nothing. Let me know in the comment box if you guys have any questions, if you want to know the process of how I picked this hair. Anything else about the hair, literally go into the comment box and let me know. The link for the hair is going to be in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can see every single time I upload a video. I will see you guys next time. Bye! What, what was that? Bunny ears? I don't even know what I was trying to do.